Do you remember MC Add-on Manager? Well, I wouldn't even be shocked if you completely forgot about this application. With it being over a year, with it being delisted from the Microsoft Store, a lot of people have had problems installing mods for Minecraft Xbox One. Today, we're going to be covering the rise and fall of MC Add-on Manager and what can actually be done. To understand why MC Add-on Manager is so important, we need to go all the way back to when Minecraft originally got ported over to consoles. This was back in May 9th, 2012. Xbox 360 finally got Minecraft for the first time and everybody was so happy. Then people finally got a chance to start experimenting with the files and were able to go ahead and add in custom mods. Not the mods that you were expecting such as Pixelmon or even custom skins. These would have been luxuries if we were able to go out and get them. The only types of mods that we had were actually custom villager trades and things such as custom enchants such as knockback 256. But nowadays these are pretty mediocre and anybody can do these simply by editing some MBT data using outside softwares. This still served the basis of modded maps, such as the maps that I used to make on Xbox 360, such as factions, prisons, or even GTA servers. These were so important to the Minecraft Xbox 360 community that it even created its own economy around these maps, where these were actually bought and sold, basically like Call of Duty mod menus or basically GTA 5 money drops. This goes to show that mods on the Minecraft Xbox 360 edition were just as big of a part as on Java edition. Jumping forward to September 5th, 2014, when Xbox One finally got Minecraft, it was pretty much the same thing. Custom villager trades, game modes such as factions, skyblock, and even prisons were all made on Xbox 360, and Xbox One luckily did have a feature where you could download saves from your Xbox 360 basically allowing people to still get mods. Luckily, this feature was never retracted, but I can't say the same for PS3 to PS4 save transfers. This feature was later taken out and no more modded maps were able to be transferred, making them a very rare commodity. Jumping forward to the Bedrock Together days, or basically Bedrock Edition in 2017, Xbox One was a very unstable mess. Back then, mods weren't that good compared to what we have now. Basically, we were only able to change existing entities. So for example, we could change a cow into a car and that's it. You don't have any cows anymore, but you have cars now. It was definitely an interesting concept or basically a snowball would be turned into a grenade. These are pretty mediocre compared to the mods that we have now with hundreds of custom mobs and custom items. It's pretty safe to say that we have came a long way. Fast forward to 2018, we were able to go ahead and get our hands on some better applications such as File Explorer and UFO Transfer. These were able to simply move the files that you downloaded from Internet Explorer all the way over to your Minecraft folder. To say the least, these applications were definitely not the best designed and were pretty hard to use at times. Even sometimes having to be in the Xbox Insider Club just to go ahead and install certain files and get access to your Minecraft folder. But this is where MC Add-on Manager came in to play. In 2020, they finally launched your application, Osaxley and Chronic Override finally did it. Making an application that easily lets users import MC Pack, Add-on, Templates, and even World into your Minecraft folder just by clicking on the file. This made it a lot easier for users to simply install mods and honestly, I really enjoyed this application. But you're probably wondering if everything is so good about this application, where is the fall? Well, it's actually Microsoft. In 2021, Microsoft took away file access, making this application basically useless. But there was a workaround, if they basically launched it as a game, they would still have file access and be able to go ahead and modify Minecraft files. So the MC add-on team got to work, basically making a game version of the application and this was actually launched on October 29th, 2021. But if you guys actually know this story up until now, 
it was swiftly shut down on November 5th, 2021. Basically, Microsoft saying that this app was unpublished, meaning that it's no longer going to be available on the Microsoft Store. And you're probably wondering what exactly happened here. I believe this is a general notion against Minecraft Xbox One mods, since they have been making big changes to essentially get rid of file access for most people. They got rid of File Explorer in 2021, and they also got rid of the downloads inside of Microsoft Edge. So no longer you'll be able to go ahead and download anything from your Xbox, making it a whole lot harder to install files on your Xbox One. Over the past year, we haven't received too many updates about MC Add-on Manager. Back in July, we were actually told that the new version of MC Add-on Manager that is fully compliant with Microsoft's terms was finally finished, but now it's essentially not being released because Microsoft has failed to approve it. Microsoft has then released a bunch more updates to restrict file access a lot more, making it nearly impossible to access your files on Xbox One. It's becoming very similar to Sony's PlayStation, where you just can't access the files at all, and it's pretty difficult to get in there without jailbreaking it. It would be pretty unfortunate if we had to start homebrewing your consoles just to access the file explorer, and I don't even think that's even possible. With Microsoft's tight security, it seems like they're not wanting anybody to get their hands on the Xbox One files, and I can understand a little bit why, because they see it as a security risk. Minecraft has been a pretty heavily mod-oriented game forever, and you're probably wondering, what does Microsoft get? from actually restricting mods. Well, it's pretty simple, the marketplace. If you're familiar with Minecraft or what they've been doing recently, well, there's actually this marketplace where you can download mods, but they cost this currency called Minecoins or basically tokens on PS4. Essentially, this makes it so that you have to purchase these and you can install them, play with them, and don't get me wrong, they're pretty cool, but the reason why Microsoft wants to promote this is because they make a decent amount of money off of it. Every single time you buy something, Microsoft gets a 30% cut. This is the same thing that Roblox does when essentially you buy a Game Pass or any type of item inside of a Roblox game. Do I ever think we'll get MC Add-on Manager again or something like it? To be honest with you, I like to be optimistic, but it's not looking too good for MC Add-on Manager and other applications like it. It seems like we're going to have to go for file transfers from PC. This is going to be even harder for people that are not that technical to get into, and I will be making a tutorial very soon. But what do you guys think about the rise and fall of MZ Add-on Manager? The fall is honestly not their fault, and it's mainly the blame due to Microsoft and their strict security rules. Even though Saxley and Chronic Override decided to release petitions, receiving over 10,000 signatures, and even Chronic decided to even have a dialogue with them by talking to executives and even offering to fly out to Washington just to go ahead and have a civil conversation, seeing if they can go ahead and work together with Xbox, Microsoft, and Minecraft so that the community can finally have mods for Minecraft Xbox One. But without any dialogue from Microsoft, it's looking pretty hopeless. 